Hey guys, what's going on? This is Asher coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. Today we're going to open some Void Shards. I want to give you two champions that I really, really hope I get. But before then, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. We are well on our way to 100,000 subscribers. Who would have thought uh, this channel would, would grow that big? It's really cool. It's really humbling to as well. So thank you guys for being part of this journey. And again, I uh, invite you to subscribe. Uh, so today we're going to open 54 Void Shards. Uh, we have a 10 times chance at pulling the following champions. The non-voids are, are pretty decent, I guess. Hackhorn Smash Lord, uh, Scartarsis, eh. Uh, but Countess Lix, I think, is a really, really good champion. Time Dilation is an, an incredible AoE attack with block active skills. And then we have an AoE 3 timer uh, with decreased speed. Very, very good champion. Uh, we also have two very good epics available. So if you pull these champions, let me know. I actually don't have Sanguinea uh, on my account as well. Uh, maybe, do I have any shards I can pull? You know what, guys? I'll pull... Either here or game on, I will pull uh, the Sacreds as well. Uh, Sanguinia, I would love to get. She has a block debuffs and a continuous heal on all allies on a three-turn cooldown. And we also have a remove all debuffs from all allies except this champion with an attack on an enemy with transferring debuffs from herself on a four-turn cooldown. A very, very good champion. Not a lot of people talk about her. And we also have Ugo, one of the best epics, if not the best epic added to the game in the last year. In my opinion, on the A1, we have a leech. On the a2 we have an aoe decreased defense with block buffs man what a sick ability on a three turn cooldown and she's a great healer with debuff removal on the a3 she does a lot she's fast too at 102 speed or decently fast uh given her her girth <laughs> so uh yeah a big big fan so as we always do in these shard opening videos i want to add a charitable component if we pull any legendary champions we will donate 200 each uh to against malaria Thousands and thousands of children are dying every year from a 100% preventable disease. Malaria Foundation uh, raises net money to get insecticide, uh, you know, mosquito nets, basically, uh, laced. So they kill those mosquitoes with malaria so they don't kill, you know, innocent children. So we'll be making a donation there. I would, uh, you know, strongly, if you guys can afford to do it, I would strongly uh, request that you consider making a donation as well. Save a life. It costs like five bucks or less to save somebody's life, literally. That's insane. Uh, Jimbo the Dishonored, guys, is another champion that's very high on my wish list. It's I will be pu pulling void shards. If you missed the collab that I did with Scratch AK47, I asked him, okay, who is a good champion, uh, non-legendary champion that you see a lot in Platinum Tier Arena lately? And that was his answer. So who knows? Maybe we can pull him as well. Fnatic was on my list of mo champions that I want a buff to the most in the game because this dude looks so cool, but he really sucks. Not even worth going over his kit, but he looks Really cool. All right, so here we go. It's going to be Dilgal. Not nah, too interested. I was kind of high on him when he came out, but now that rares are dead in this game, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, uh, I'm not too high on him anymore. Paragon, okay for Paragon cheese teams. We have uh, Bloodhorn. Don't even know what he does. I was going to pretend. I was going to say he's not that good, but I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know what he does. Uh, three turn ally protect. And uh, if an ally is hit with a critical hit, plays a continuous heal on them for one turn. Actually, I gotta, I can't lie, that's not a bad passive, right? It happens every time if an ally is hit with a critical hit, he places a continuous heal on them. Not bad. Is he... Wow. Very bad reviews. Uh, not that it matters, but you know what I'm saying. Decreased accuracy. He's very slow. He's not OP, but it's not a bad passive, you know? Kind of like Jareg light. <laughs> very light. All right, Bulwark, not interested. So it sounds like in a week or this week, maybe we can open voids 10 at a time. That would be kind of cool. At least these videos, you won't have to listen to me ramble at you for 20 minutes, you know? We'll be undone and over in five minutes. Wash our hands of this, this YouTuber pulling more shards, giving Plarium more money. Shame on him. Just follow the money. Stone skin, not interested. Man, again, I think I mentioned this every Void Shard opening that I do here on the channel, but I was disappointed that they didn't uh, buff more rare Void Champions on the big Void Rebalancing. Huntress, these champions suck. A lot of them really steadfast. Marshall, Harrier, don't even give me a Harrier. Don't even do it. I'm tired of all the pain I'm feeling here in the world every day. Bellower doesn't need a buff. He's solid. Don't give me a Harrier, man. Exemplar. Hey, there's a lot of really bad uh, 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 void rares. Even Gear Grinder. Some people like this dude. 
just all right. An AoE heal of their max HP. You hate to see it. And then as a revival on a five turn cooldown. To me, I don't get excited about Gear Grinder. All right, next up, ah, we get Inceptor, another crappy Void, <laughs> rare. So yeah, again, the Void rebalancing was a tremendous. Hell I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. If we're only talking about legendary champions, right? Legendary champions, they nailed it on Vizix, on Wurlam, and on Solus. That's great to see. But the rares, they barely touched them, man. It's like they don't even care about the rares anymore. Champions who are easy to upgrade, it's like, eh, who cares about those? Just don't touch those champions, you know? All right, finally, Jenbo! Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! Hey, Oboro, I almost mentioned her when I was talking about Jenbo. I don't have her, so a brand new champion here on the account. And I have to say, some of you guys in the comments have told me she hits like a truck. Will attack all enemies instead of the target as for under four or more debuffs on an A1 with decreased defense. On the A2, I like how her avatar has herself featured here. Attacks one enemy two times. The second hit has a 100% chance when booked of transferring all debuffs from this champion to the target. The first hit has a 100% chance when booked of stealing all buffs from the target while attacking under Veil or Perfect Veil, okay? Uh, increased crit rate, increased crit damage on this champion, then attacks one enemy. Perfect Veil buff on this champion for two turns if the attack is critical on a three turn cooldown. And then has a revive on death on this champion for three turns when they receive a Veil or Perfect Veil. Alright, so, so the kit to me, and done is by 33%, that's a nice uh, attack aura. The kit to me doesn't seem like broken, super OP, not a lot of like AoE damage there, but you know, again, from the comments, you guys who have her are telling me that she's really, really a hard-hitting and fun epic champion. There's a Void who actually is worth building. Two of, still. I'm back to farming level 20 dungeons. What about you guys? <laughs> At first I was talking a big game, like, I think I'm gonna, think I'm gonna do uh, 24, because it's efficient, but maybe I'll do 25, because I like the gear too. And now I'm back to 20. No one has time for four hours of auto, auto attacks in the background, you know? At least I, I don't, you know? I find myself uh, just going back to level 20 dungeons, especially with the events and with the fusion going on and stuff like that, or the fragment summon. It's just better in terms of my time efficiency to go after level 20 dungeons. Another fanatic, welcome to the team. All right, who else? You think they're gonna add the faction crypt for Shadowkin soon? It seems like they're adding a, quite a few champions. Uh, I wouldn't be shocked if they added it in the next month or two. Uh, Bloodhorn, again, cool passive Bloodhorn, cool passive. All right, Le if I get a legendary and it's not cardio, you might see me rage in this video. Let's worry about actually getting one first though, how about that? All right, Relic Tender, Relic Tender and Coltart, you guys watching the channel for any amount of time know my favorite champions, my favorite uh, rare champions in the game. Relic Tender and Silva Drakes, my favorite overall champions in the game. I have that new champion from Doom Tower Hard, Secret Rooms too. I'm on the fence over whether to do a guide on him. Uros, the Soul Cage. Really cool looking champion. Not game breaking, not super, super OP in my opinion. Good, better than Thea the Tomb Angel, you know? The Vault Angel as they call her. All right, that's a Faceless, that's not a Genbo. Faceless hits very hard, you know? He's a unique epic, not really. I was gonna say he's unique in terms in terms of being like a really solid single target damage nuker, but I guess you could say the same thing about a few, right? Uh, Knight Errant being one of them as well. Cause our Debar is still a good champion. Good, not great, you know? Has the uh, decreased accuracy, or increased accuracy, which is nice. Uh, Hollow, not so good. 19 left here, guys. So far, I don't have no idea. Hollow and uh, a Maritime Skeleton look very, very similar, huh? Maybe not, I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Don't make me rage by, don't make me rage by more, more voids. <laughs> here we go. I really want that cardio, man. You guys know, I've been watching the channel for any amount of time. I've been wanting Cardio for quite a while. He seems like a very, 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 very fun champion to have. Uh, let me make room, I'll be right back, guys. All right, we're back. Here we go, 16 to go here. Let's see, give me that legendary gold. Gotta say it at least one time per video. Confessor, another bad void rare. 
Give me another bad boy. Ah, there he is again, Hollow. Hollow looks really creepy, huh? Jeez, what happened to his stomach? I guess he's he's Hollow, right? It's, it's in the name, Ash. It's in the name, dude. All right, here we go. It's gonna be another dog, aka Fellhound, aka the best campaign farmer in the game. What do you guys think? If you can only have one campaign farmer, who would it be? Saurus, Fellhound, Queen Ava. Who would it be? Ripper Fist. I use Queen Ava. She's pretty dang good, but people tell me that Fellhound's a little bit faster. Fanatic number three, welcome to the squad. Get in line. Take a seat behind, b beside the other. Oh, Abalaster, I don't think you're good. Ah, uh, man. A lot of blues in this video, guys. Give me at least a Genbo. At least a Genbo, you know? Here we go. Gear grinder. Starting to grind. I, I gotta resist the dad joke on the grinding gears. Seducer. Not very seduced, man. We got five to go. Five voids. I see blue. I see Kazard. Four left. And it's blue. Come on, Cardio. Come on, Cardio. Okay, now four left. I can't count either. Okay, okay. Dagger's really good. Good champion. 75% three turn decrease defense. Void affinity, so you don't have to worry about bad affinity matchups. You'd love to see it be a little bit higher, maybe like an 80 or 90%. Genbo? No. That'd be Maneater. Welcome to the team, Maneater number three or four or five. And here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna rage pull, a rage buy one more batch. Be right back. All right, guys, magically, we just have, we got 22, 22 more. Let's do this, come on. Come on, Cardio. No more gear grinders, no more gear grinders. <clears throat> let's, let's do this, come on. All right, all right, veteran. No, no veterans. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oof, I feel good, I feel good. I feel good. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, stone, stone skin. No, no, no. 17 left, guys. What other games are you playing, by the way? Genbo? No, 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 no. It's 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 uh, Runekeeper Dazdurk. Uh, he has the leech on the A1. He's a 10 times two. Increase attack, fill turn by 25% on the A2. A3 removes all debuffs from all allies and heals all allies by 25% of this champion's max HP. Plays a continuous heal buff for two turns on allies who have debuffs removed on a four turn cooldown. I've always thought that guy looked pretty good. What about you guys? Much better than a gear grinder, you know? Assuming you don't need the revival. Renegade, definitely a popular uh, void. Rare, dagger, come on, where's my mercy? Where's my mercy? I, I would look, but it's not in game. <laughs> There's no way to track it. All right, come on. Ooh. You know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna pull a legendary like the last shard and it's not gonna be cardio. It's not gonna be him. Blue, blue, blue. All right, as I say in every video that I start raging like this, it's only a, still only a 0.5% chance. So it's not like I'm getting bad luck. I'd be getting good luck if I did pull them, right? Okay, it's a reminder to myself to make myself not feel so bad. Coltart, welcome to the team. Here we go, nine left. Come on, come on. You know there's somebody out there who's like, I pull, I opened one void shard and I pulled Cardio. Ooh. <laughs> Seven left, come on, mercy, mercy, mercy. Ah, I called mercy and I got ox. That's not how it's supposed to work. Mercy, okay. Apparently screaming mercy at your computer screen doesn't work, confirmed. Mercy? Okay, whispering it doesn't work either. That's not going to be good for business. That's not going to be good for anybody. All right, Mal Branch, number two, number three, number four. Five to go. Come on. Come on, Cardiol. Come on. Cardiol is so good, man. Such a good champion. But I'm getting Bellowers. Getting Bellowers. I'm getting, getting non legendaries. Got more blue here. We got Rage Monger. Okay, Rage Monger. Welcome to the team. Okay, we got another blue. No money for charity. No, no legendary in my vault. Ah! Be right back, be right back, be right back. All right, guys, here we go. We got 22 more voids. What do you know? I mean, this is it. This is literally it, because there's nothing else to buy, because I'm that much of a dirt bag. I fell for it, man. I fell for the 10 times trap. Don't fall for it. Don't be like me. Heed my warning. Don't be like me.
Because I'm just going to waste it. <laughs> I'm not going to. There's no cardio in this batch. Drown Bloat Wraith. The worst name in the game. Fokker in the fat. Drown Bloat Wraith. And what? Yoshi the Drunkard, right? Somebody in my comments really took exception to the uh, Yoshi the Drunkard. Someone really took exception. I don't know. It was, you know, they got canceled. Uh, Yoshi got canceled in my comments. Someone very, very, very long dissertation as to how rude of a name that was. Uh, here we go. Man, cancel culture, huh? It's, it's the worst. Seducer, we got the dagger. We got 12 left. Come on. God, interceptor. Am I at the mercy? What is this mercy? Where's my mercy? There is no mercy. Jeez, so many blues. I wish I could just 10 times this and end the pain. Vanguard, another eviscerator. Come on. At least give me a Genbo. Another Drowned Bloat Wraith is like a slap in the face. Next thing they'll give me a Harrier. All right, all right, Retainer. Welcome to the team. Six to go, six to go, six to go. Okay, okay. Panthera. Oh, man. This has been a not-so-memorable shard opening, has it, guys? Five remaining. It's the final countdown. Quite literally, I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm not at the Mercy. Is it 200? Is that the Mercy? Oh my God. All right, three to go, guys. Come on. Come on. This is Jenbo? Ah. Two to go. One. Jenbo? Mm. Exemplar. Mm. Wow. Well, there we have it, guys. Whew, that was a vid, huh? That was a vid. Sacred. YOLO the sacred. Why not, right? Boom. Hit me with it. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Shawnee. I don't have her. What does she do? Poison sensitivity on the A1. On the A2, increase accuracy, increase attack buff on this champion, then attacks one enemy HP. Burn debuff if the attack is critical. Okay. AoE attack on a three turn cooldown has a 75% chance of increasing the duration of all debuffs by one turn. All right, you can see why she's a clan boss champion. Immune to decrease accuracy debuffs. Okay. Increases champion's crit rate by 0.05 for every point of accuracy they have. I really like that passive. Very cool to have the uh, increased crit rate based on accuracy so you don't have to build her with crit rate. Uh, very cool champion. All right, let's do one more. Why not? Who cares at this point? Whatever, right? Whatever. All right, Maeve, that's exactly what we wanted. I have one more sacred, guys. We're gonna open it on the Game On account. We'll still do donate to charity if it is a legendary. We'll end the video there. I'm sorry, I almost feel guilty uploading a shard opening video where I don't pull a legendary. But what are you gonna do, guys? Thank you so much for watching until the end. I hope your luck was better than mine. I hope one of you out there pulled a cardio. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And as always, take care, guys. Okay.